Hi, this is Todd Oltoff from ToddOltoff.com coming back at you with another screencast. In this week, we're going to continue our look at the El Capitan beta and take a look at a couple of more applications that have been uh, updated or tweaked a little bit uh, with the upcoming operating system. Again, uh, remember that this is just a beta, so some of these features may change or be tweaked a little bit or more features could be added, but I thought I'd give you a first look at it since the public beta is out and available. So the first thing I want to show you real quick is it's a minor change, but uh, for some it'll be uh, an important one, and that's with the Maps application. If I just launch the Maps application, you'll notice that now we have the ability to do transit uh, directions. And so you'll be able to see the different transit uh, uh, vehicles and things on your map. Uh, if I just come up to View here in the menu, you can see in terms of tra uh, transit directions, you've got bus, subway, light rail, commuter rail, and ferry. And so you can choose which vehicles or types of things to include in your transit uh, directions on maps, and then you'll be able to chart those things and do your searches and see when things are arriving and how long it'll take you to get there using transit, etc. So I just wanted to show you that that's finally been added uh, to Apple Maps now, and just wanted you to be able to see what that looked like. So let me just go ahead and close uh, Maps down here. Now the other application that's been updated that has gotten uh, a lot of different changes is the actual notes application uh, in the uh, OS X uh, El Capitan beta. Uh, now let me just launch notes for a minute. Now notes has kind of been one of those applications that started out on the uh, on iOS devices and then made its way back to the Mac and it was a pretty basic uh, notepad uh, kind of using the analogy of a notepad, that's really how it functioned. And so it was minimal in terms of what you could do with it. And so many people use services like Evernote and things like that to track their notes. Uh, well, now in uh, uh, El Capitan, it looks like they're really trying to add a lot of features in that you might find in other uh, applications like Evernote and those sorts of things to really make the notes application more robust and something that you might use. And so uh, I want to just kind of walk through some of those things that are here. Again, it's a beta, so things could be added or taken away, but uh, let me just walk you through kind of the idea of where they're going. Uh, as you see, when you launch the Notes application, you get this Welcome to Notes. And uh, the nice thing is, is that, again, everything is uh, uh, synced to your iCloud account. So that would mean that notes that you create on your Mac should be available on all of your Macs or your iOS devices through your iCloud account. Uh, again, what they've done is allowed you to add uh, a lot more information to a note that I'm going to show you, allows you more things, uh, more ways that you can organize your thoughts, and then allows you to find things qui uh, more quickly. And so we're going to take a look at all of those features. So let's just go ahead and click on Continue. And so it's going to ask me right away if I want to turn on iCloud. And if I do, I go into System Preferences to do that. I'm just going to cancel that because we're just going to kind of do an overview. And so as you look at the uh, actual application here, you'll notice uh, a few things. We've got a few more items on the toolbar up here to work with. Uh, we've also got our notes uh, kind of in the sidebar over here. And then within that, the different notes that we've written. And then it'll highlight what we actually put in terms of a note over here on the side. Uh, now, I can hide this toolbar if I want to just by clicking on this and only show the note and then the list of notes and then the big view, uh, or I can show the toolbar again. Again, it shows notes on my, on my Mac, or I can show them on other devices. Now, it has added the ability to actually organize your notes. Instead of just having this long running list of notes, like in the uh, Notes app that we currently have, uh, if I just come down here, I can click to add a new folder, and I could call this, let's say, Work. Let's say that's my Work folder. And so now I've got a regular just notes folder and a work folder that are here that I can add things to. And then I've got everything on my Mac. And so I can go ahead and organize that. Now, it's only uh, one layer deep. And, and what that means is you can't nest folders over here. Uh, you can see that these folders really more or less function as uh, dividers, uh, maybe in a notebook, you know, something that just kind of shows you certain sections. Uh, but it doesn't go further into allowing you to sub, uh, have all these subfolders and things like you might find in the Finder. Okay, so just wanted to let you know that. So within that, once I've created that, uh, I can go ahead and add a new note. And you can see up here on the toolbar, I can hide the folders, right? Again, like I showed you before, back and forth. I've also got a, um, uh, an attachment viewer, which I'm going to show you once we've added some. I can delete a note, and then here I can add a note. Uh, so let's go ahead and add one. And so just like before, we can uh, edit this note. If we wanted to, if I double click on it, it'll actually bring it up in another window if I want to have that happen or not. Uh, so I can get rid of that. Uh, or I can just come over here and start typing the note. You know, uh, you know, remember uh, to bring to work, let's say. 
And so as I'm typing that, you'll notice up here that it actually puts it in bold. <clears throat> and so having it in bold up here, it's, it automatically adds some titling to it. And so then I can start typing different things that I want to have in here. Let's say, let's say I got to bring a book. I've got to bring a laptop. Got to bring, um, let's say, uh, let's say a pen. I don't know. I'll just put a bunch of things there. Now, normally with a checklist, you'd have to come in here and kind of, you know, put your own little things in front of it or something to to show that. Uh, with the new notes application, I can highlight text right like this, and I can click this little box right here to make it a checklist. And now that becomes an actual checklist of things to do. And so I can come in here, and once I finish them, I can check it off, and you can see that shows that I've actually done that, or I can uncheck it. And so I can actually make checklists in Notes if I wanted to do that for uh, grocery lists and those kinds of things. It's really a nice way to allow me to uh, go through those things and mark them off. So I just wanted to show you that that was uh, possibilities in there that you could do. Now, there's also other formatting options in here. You can see that I can make it a title or a heading or a body. I can do bulleted lists, dashed lists, or numbered lists if I want to do that right within the context of the note here and, uh, and make that a lot easier. And so, for instance, if I've got this, you know, I can come in here. I can make that a title, and you can see now it's made it uh, even bolder in there. Or if I wanted to make it just a heading, you can see it shrunk down a little bit. Uh, or the body would actually make it smaller, right? So let's put it back as a title. Um, so I can go ahead and go ahead and do all that kind of formatting. And if I come down here, let's say I wanted to make a uh, numbered list. You can see there's the number, and I could say uh, today, tomorrow. You see how that works? Uh, so I can actually make lists that way as well. Uh, it makes it really nice to be able to add things in there. Now, the other thing I can do is add pictures. Uh, I can actually drag it in, or I can click this viewer here, and it will take me into the Photos app if I wanted to add photos that way. Uh, what I'm going to do is put this down. Let me just pull up a finder here for a minute. And what I'm going to do is go to Pictures, and I'll just show you. I can actually drag a picture right into my uh, note here, and the picture shows up, and it also adds it over here to the side. And so, uh, again, an easy way to be able to add those pictures in there. I can add pictures to a note. Let's go ahead and uh, let's pull up another note here. I'm just going to add another note. And let's just call this uh, docu uh, documents or something. I'm just going to kind of put something on there. Again, we'll highlight that. We'll title it. So that's what it is. And let me make some spaces. The other thing you can do is actually drag documents uh, into your notes. And so if I go down, downloads here, I just kind of pulled up a PDF. And if I stick that PDF in there, you can see that now the PDF is a part of that note. And so the great part about this is you could actually have these PDFs uh, in sync with your other um, uh, applications uh, through iCloud and it'll make those things work and so there I've got that uh, I've got that document in there if I just do a quick look I can actually pull up the document and scroll through it and view it just like I would a normal uh, PDF or I could open it in preview so again I can store documents in here I can store photos uh, I can also do videos and those kinds of things and format those inside the application as well now, uh, what I can do is if I wanted to see what kind of uh, media that I've got inside my notes, let's say I've got a whole bunch of notes, if I just click on this little uh, box up here, it shows me the various attachments that I've got. So here's my photos and videos. Uh, there is the ability to do sketches. Uh, so on your iPad or on your iPhone, you'll be able to do sketches with your finger. Those will show up here. Uh, there's a, the maps, any maps that I want to add, websites, I'll show you what that looks like, audio, and then documents. And so here it shows my PDFs that I've got in here. So I do have this nice media browser that allows me to look through those various things. So let me just uh, go ahead and come out of here. Let's go back into my documents. Now what I'm going to do too is show you how you can share things. If I come into Maps, for instance, I'm just going to pull up Maps again. There is a share feature up here where I can actually send uh, a particular uh, map to notes. And if I just click on this, what it will do is create this little formatted uh, map here. And I can choose to make it a new note or put it into an existing folder. Uh, I'm just going to make it a new note and I'm just going to say save. And let me just uh, go ahead and uh, let me just go ahead and put this down here. And so it'll send it uh, over to my notes, and it might take a minute here to refresh. I think I put it in notes. There we go. And so it gives you this nice formatted uh, note there with the map. And so, again, I can quick look the map so I can see where that's at, and it pulls that up, uh, which is kind of nice. And so 
Uh, again, it has a lot of share features built into El Capitan to get the notes in there. Now, let me just show you one more thing with Safari here. I'm just going to pull up, uh, let's say, Apple's website. And the same thing is true here. I can do sharing to notes. And so I'll get this little window that allows me to share the website. And I'll make that a new note uh, as well. We're going to say Save. And let me just close down Safari. And so now I've got this note with a website in it. Same thing. I can quick look to actually see the website. It'll pull that up for me. Uh, and again, when I come in, and, and again, when I come into the media area here, now that I've got a map that shows my maps, it shows my websites. And so all of those things are nicely uh, organized and really easy to see. And so, uh, again, it gets these nice formatted notes. Now, you can add websites uh, into your notes as well. But as you'll see, if I just go, you know, apple.com and hit return, it's just a web link. It doesn't do this nice formatted note. So that only comes through the sharing service uh, to be able to add that stuff in there. So that kind of gives you an idea of some of the different uh, features and things that have been added to the Notes application. And like I said, you've got your normal formatting stuff up here if you want to change fonts and text and indentation. And uh, you can choose if you want new notes to start with a title or a heading or the body so that you can automatically have it started that way. Uh, it works out uh, really nice. Uh, there's not a lot of customization to the toolbar. Uh, so uh, pretty much all the icons that are up there are up there. Um, again, it is, a, it is a, uh, a beta, so not everything is done. Uh, the other thing I can do, too, is I can export uh, whatever I want out of here um, as a PDF if I wanted to do that. Uh, you saw that over there. If I do the share area here, I can share it to other services if I wanted to do that. Uh, or like I said up here, I can do um, the share here as well, or I can export as PDF, and it'll export the note as a PDF to get it out. So hopefully that gives you an idea of how the Notes app works. Again, it even has sharing across everything. It really is a nice improvement. And for some people, this is exactly kind of what they need in a Notes app. Uh, again, there are other features that you can get in some of these other things like Evernote and all of that. But for those that really want these basic features, it really works out nice. So that's all I have uh, for this week. I'll be back at you next week with another screencast to help you learn how to do more things with your Mac.